Well, there has been fierce public debate over the controversial issue of marital rape, with some eager to see the issue criminalized and others calling for government to stay out of people's marriages. While the Bahamas ratified the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women decades ago, that is the CEDAW Convention, the country has still not eliminated marital rape. Cleopatra Murphy has the details on when legislation is expected to advance. Despite draft marital rape legislation being introduced last September, Press Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister Clint Watson says there is still no timeline on when it will be tabled in the House of Assembly. They want to complete the dialogue. He says the reason why there's no time frame on it is they want to actually exhaust all avenues in addressing and looking at this uh, proposed legislation. He did, announce, he did say they have another meeting with the Baptist community. They've called and requested another meeting. So that's expected to happen. They also want to meet with the Christian Council to make sure there is cl clarity on uh, the proposed legislation. That hasn't happened as yet. And any other stakeholders that may come forward and say, listen, we need to talk more about it. So that's why there's no framework attached to it. The draft legislation, the Sexual Offenses Amendment Bill 2022, that has been released for consultation, is intended to criminalize marital rape and would define marital rape as the act of any person not under 14 years of age having sexual intercourse with another person without the consent of that person, where he knows that person does not consent or is reckless as to whether the person consents. The debate gained renewed energy following a 2022 ruling in a divorce case by Justice Denise Lewis Johnson who ruled that while rape is a most heinous act of cruelty, there is no rape in marriage under current Bahamian law, but granted a divorce on the ground of cruelty. Government has been criticized for not moving quickly enough to introduce the legislation. So where does it lie on the Davis administration's priority agenda? And that's why it's difficult to say oh, this is an urgent priority because as, as you wrap up, you know, he just said he wrapped up uh, meetings and some dialogues and then there's another phone call. And so that's why you can't really attach a priority time limit to it because what he's trying to do is engage all stakeholders. Uh, and so as long as it takes to engage all stakeholders that are relevant in this legislation being able to, to be presented before Parliament, he wants to do that. And so though he's been given the liberty to do that until they completely have buy-in on something. The press secretary also responded to criticism that government is relying too much on the church before moving to advance the legislation. It's not a matter of relying heavily on the church. The meetings are not just with the church. Um, those are the meetings that are upcoming, but those are the only meetings they have met with. They have met with organizations, they've met with women's groups, they've met with uh, civic organizations, and so it's not just lopsided as it appears by saying the Christian groups. Those may be the meetings that they've just concluded with or are having next, um, but it's not only been the church. He says because marital rape has led to fierce debate from all avenues, government wants to ensure it makes the best representation of the Bahamian public, adding that it wants to avoid avoid future criticism that there was not enough consultation. For The Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.